to do the same thing I've just been doing, project, but now I have a skin over top of it. <laughs> yeah, he's created a smart board for two dollars, essentially. <laughs> so with this, this whiteboard app is free. It's a free app. But with the whiteboard app, I can I can take a screenshot of this, and I can save it to my camera roll, or I can save it to Evernote. I have an Evernote uh, account, so if you made something that you want to save and and have for next time or next class, if you're in high school and you're doing a repeat lesson, you can save it to Evernote or your camera roll. The other thing is that um, you can switch back into now in a straight whiteboard mode. And then if you want to go back to what you were talking about, it gives you the option to have a few stored screens and you can click on it and go back into what you were doing before. Could you save that to the Dropbox? Um, you could save it to camera roll and then move it from camera roll like a photo into Dropbox, yes. Yep. It's got options at the bottom for colors, uh, pen, and text if you want to, uh, if you were wanting to type on it for something. And basically the sky's the limit on what you want to do with it. How many have an overhead projector sitting at their school right now? It's collecting dust. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Is that, yep. is that, so you're saying that that screen on that thing that you put on top of Velcro, that's going to be inside of the projector? No, this screen, yes. This screen is the diffuser panel that's inside every overhead. So all it costs is a couple strips of velcro. That's right. That's right. So like that one will have it. That one will have it. Just take the head off. Take the diffuser off. Now just to answer your question about uh, the enlarging, I can enlarge this. I can enlarge a portion of the uh, text. I can clear this out now. There it is. So I can make it as big as I want. Um, just one other thing to, if I may. Yeah, go right I'll ahead. just show you one other thing. Um, I don't know how many of you have RAS kids. How many do you have RAS kids in your school? Okay. Well, I highly recommend it. If you get RAS kids, you can get an extension to that um, to allow you to um, get it on the iPad. You have to buy the RAS kids account for about 80 bucks, and then you buy an accompanying reading A to Z account for about another $80, and then you have a class set of level books that are available on the iPad for students to uh, use. And what I love to do is to